I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn different techniques which can be applied to solve optimization questions. Uh, we will consider a rectangle in equilateral triangle in this particular video. The question here is determine the dimensions of a rectangle with maximum area inscribed in an equilateral triangle. Now by now you have learned many techniques. I'll give you different strategies which you can follow to solve such a question. It's a very interesting question. Let's first sketch one equilateral triangle. And let us say that the length of this triangle each side is L units. Okay, so if the length is L, let us say this is length, all the sides are L. In that case, if I draw a perpendicular, what I will do actually is I will form an axis, a Y axis along the perpendicular and x along the base right in that case I'll say if I drop a perpendicular in that case this length will be L over 2 right half half correct so I'll write this as L over 2 here so I'm taking base of the triangle along the x axis and height of the triangle along the y axis so that is a kind of strategy which is going to help me solve this problem more efficiently. I'll show you how. Okay, now this is right triangles, x, y axis, and we also know it's equilateral triangle, therefore this angle is 60 degrees, right? Now once you know that angle is 60 degrees, you can actually find the height of the triangle, right? What is tan of 60? Tan of 60 degrees is opposite over adjacent side. So the opposite side is height, which we want to know, and adjacent side, you know, this length is half of the total length, so L over 2. And tan of 60 is, you can use the calculator, you can use special triangles, and you know it is square root of 3. So let's just figure it out. Tan of 60 is equal to square root of 3, right? So you could use special triangles, and then you know directly tan of 60 is square root of 3. From here, you can say height of this triangle H is equal to square root 3 times L over 2, right? So that becomes the height. That is to say this point here on the y-axis will be at square root 3 over 2 L. Do you see that? So the height which is along the y-axis will be that much. So this is your height H. You get the idea. Now you know the height and you have this triangle you need to inscribe within this triangle a rectangle with maximum area, right? So what we'll consider now is, let us say we have a rectangle which is somewhere, let's say, let's make a rectangle here. Let's say that's the rectangle which is being inscribed inside this equilateral triangle and the idea is to maximize the area of this rectangle. So that is our question. Now, how to solve such a question? Well, in this particular case, what we need to do is, the area will be whatever this dimension is. Let us say, let us say this point is x units away from here and y above. In general, I'll call this point as x, y, right? In that case, area of rectangle will be, area of rectangle will be, so we have x and x, so it is 2x, correct? 2x times y. So we get area in two variables. Now the idea is to relate the two variables. How do you do that? One of course is the similar triangles. You have height here which is h which you have in terms of length. y is this dimension. So what you see here is that the big triangle is similar to this small triangle and therefore you can write down the ratios and the ratios are height over L by 2 is equal to, so let me write down here, so big triangle height over the base half of length is equal to small triangle Y coordinate right, over this length which is L by 2 minus X, L by 2 minus X. So that gives you Y in terms of X, that is one way of doing it, right? So that is one way of doing it. What you could also do is, you can actually get the equation of line and then relate y in terms of 
x you can do that also so that is the approach which I am going to take in this particular video and I really prefer it since you have seen many of my videos where I have used equation of curves whenever we are inscribing one curve into the other we try to form the two equations so let me write down equation of the line so let me call this point as uh, let us say a b and c is the triangle okay in that case it becomes simpler we will now find what is equation of line uh, a b right so I, i'm sorry i'll do it on this side a c okay let me write a c here we are working on this side okay equation of line a c now what is the equation of this line a c well y is equals to mx plus b right so what is the slope slope is you have to go down h which is square root 3 over 2 so slope is minus square root 3 over 2 l right that is the y intercept so you have to go down that much that is the rise over run which is l over 2 right l over 2 so that gives you the slope and uh, slope times x mx plus b and b is the y intercept cell which is square root 3 over 2 l is it okay so that becomes equation for the line and from this equation we can relate y in terms of x so you can simplify this l over 2 l over 2 cancels out so we get y equals to minus square root 3 x plus square root 3 over 2 l so we get y in terms of x l is a constant given length of equilateral triangle perfect so we will now write down this y here if you solve this similar triangles you will get the same equation perfect but this is simpler method I hope so area in terms of x I am saying now since I will write y in terms of x is 2 times x times all this which is within brackets minus square root 3 x plus square root 3 over 2 L. So that becomes the area. We can always expand this. We say area in terms of x is equals to minus 2 times square root 3 x square. And when you open this bracket, 2 and 2 cancel. So you have square root 3 L times x. So that becomes the area. Now let us see what possible values x can take. Okay. So that will give us the boundary conditions, correct? So let's find boundary conditions for x. As you can see here, x is distance from origin, let's say O, to the extreme point. So x could be 0, so x could be 0. And x should be less than L by 2, right? Maximum, what you can do is you can make a rectangle where the maximum x value could be here, kind of, kind of like this, right? But approaching L by 2, you get the idea, right? So, so that one is maximum is l by 2 right minimum is when you just squeeze it in and you make this tall triangle right that is the minimum well in both these cases the area of triangle will be 0 so in this both these cases a 0 is equals to 0 which is equals to a uh, times l over 2 since one of the dimensions is 0 right so whatever is in between is more than zero so we are looking for a maximum at critical number so what we are getting is maximum at critical number i hope you understand that point right so critical number will give you the maximum so from boundary conditions we can get the absolute maximum value in this particular case correct let's continue and now let us find what critical number is to find the critical number, we have to find the derivative. So what is the derivative of this? So it is 2 times this, which is minus 4 square root 3x plus square root 3l. Okay. Now we have to equate this to 0 to get the critical number. So we can solve for this. We get 4 square root 3x should be equals to square root 3l. Correct. And from here, x is equals to l over 4. So we get x this length is half of this length right for rectangle of course it will be x plus x 2x remember that well when x is l over 2 l over 4 what is y equals to we can find what y is we can write y is equals to 
substitute x as length over 4, right? Quarter of the length times L over 4 plus square root 3 over 2 L, right? When you combine them, so we get square root 3 over 4 L, right? That is what you get. When you combine them, common denominator is 4. So you get 2 times this, so square root 3 over 4 L is the Y value. Correct? So what we get dimensions of the rectangle will be? Now we can write down the dimensions. So our answer is, dimensions will be how much? Length of the rectangle is 2 times X. Do you see that? 2 times X. So it is 2 times L over 4. That will be one side by y value, which is square root 3 over 4L. Do you see that? So that becomes the dimension for the particular rectangle with maximum area inscribed within equilateral triangle of sides L, right? So we have taken equilateral triangle for sides L. Now what you notice here is, very important to notice, is basically what you get answer as let me write down the answer here which is l over 2 so it is l over 2 units by square root 3 over 4 l units you understand so that is the rectangle that is a rectangle which gives you maximum area now you'll notice that the base is length l correct so that is half the base. Do you see that is half the base? Do you see that? Times height is square root 3 over L. Half the height. Do you see? Half the height. So in general, in almost all the questions which we have done relating the rectangle inscribed in a triangle, you'll always get this kind of an answer. Half the base times half the height. So that is in general true. For most of the cases remember that and we have done it so many examples we have done i hope from here it will be easier for you to answer objective type multiple choice questions knowing this okay so i hope that helps thank you and all the best